Hello friends, welcome to Doubt Forum. This question is two cells of EMF 10 volt and 5 volt having internal resistances 2 ohm and 1 ohm respectively are connected in parallel as shown in this figure and we have to find out the potential difference through 10 ohm resistor. So this 10 ohm resistor is connected across this combination of cells and we have to find out the potential difference across this 10 ohm resistor. So I will be solving this question using KCL and KVL alone. For that I am just mentioning few rules which I will be applying here. So whenever we move from higher potential towards lower potential, I am just taking that polarity as the positive polarity. And whenever we move from lower potential towards higher potential, I will just mark that polarity as the negative one. We will move in the clockwise direction. So let's apply the KVL in this first loop. So first of all, I'm just marking this is the current that is I1 is flowing in this loop in the clockwise direction. And because there are two loops, so I have to mark the current in the second loop as well. So I'm just marking that I2 current would be flowing in this second loop. So when we apply the KVL in this first loop, I'm just starting from this point move in the clockwise direction and would come back to this point. When we start from this point, first we met with the positive plate of this 10 volt battery and then the negative one. So here I am moving from higher potential towards the lower potential. So polarity of this 10 volt would be positive. So this would be positive 10 volt. Then when we move from this point to this point, we can see that current is entering from this point and leaving from this point. Current always flows from higher potential towards the lower potential. So the voltage drop across this 2 ohm resistor would be positive and its value would be 2 times I1. This would be 2 times I1. Again, when we move in this closed loop, we can see that from moving this point to this point, I1 is entering from this point and leaving through this point. At the same time, I2 is entering from this point and leaving from this point. So the net current that would be flowing through this 1 ohm resistor would be I1 minus I2. And we have to multiply by the value of resistance. This will give us the potential difference or the voltage drop across this 1 ohm resistor. And again, when we move from this point to this point, we can see that first we find the positive plate of the battery, then the negative one. So here also we are moving from higher potential towards the lower potential. So this 5 volt would also be of positive in nature. So this way we have completed this first loop. And from the KVL, we all know that the algebraic sum of all the voltage drop inside a closed loop is always equal to zero. So this way we will be finding our first equation that is 3 times of I1 minus I2. This would be equal to 10 plus 5. And if, if we send this towards the opposite side of this equal, this would be minus 15. So this is our equation number 1. Now we will be applying the KVL in this second loop. Let's start from this point. And we are, as we can see that we are moving in the clockwise direction. So as we move from this point to this point, first we find the negative plate of the battery, then the positive one. So here we will be moving from lower potential towards the higher potential. So this 5 volt, I am just taking it as the negative one. Again, when we move from this point to this point, we can see that I2 current is moving in the forward direction. At the same time, I1 current is moving the backward direction. So the net current that would be flowing through this 1 ohm resistor would be I2 minus I1. This would be I2 minus I1. So we have to multiply it by its resistance value so that the voltage drop is being find out. Again, when we move from this point to this point, we can see that I2 current is entering from this point and leaving from this point. 
so here again the the voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistor would be 10 times of i2 this way we have completed the second loop as well so according to kvl the algebraic sum of voltage drop is always equal to zero so here we can see that this 10 times of i2 plus i2 would be 11 i2 minus i1 this would be equal to 5 so this is our equation number 2 in the question we are asked to find the voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistor for that all we need is the value of i2 so what i will be doing i will be such simply getting the value of i1 from equation 2 and putting it in the equation number 1 so the value of i1 would come out to be i1 would be equal to 11 times of i2 minus 5 now all we have to do is to put the value of i1 in equation number 1 when we put this value the equation number 1 would be equal to 3 times of 11 i2 minus 5 minus i2 this is equals to minus 15 here this value would be 33 i2 minus 15 minus i2 is equals to minus 15 so here this is 32 times of i2 would be equal to minus 15 plus 15 or we can say that i2 is equal to 0 when the value is i2 is 0 it means no current is flowing from this 10 ohm resistor when there is no current there would be no voltage drop so the voltage drop or the potential difference through this 10 ohm resistor would be equal to 0 and that is our answer so thank you for watching if you still have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel doubt forum see you in the next video till then take care bye bye